This video is a quick demo of the ServiceNow script debugger. It's helpful when you're trying to step through scripts and you want to see line by line how your code is executing. I'll use the AD load computers as an example. So you'll want to bring up the script. There is a button over here. If you hover over it, it says Open Script Debugger. You click on the script debugger. It opens up your script. You can step into even the initialization code. I'll set a couple breakpoints here. We've got a fetch computers function down here. We also have a load computers function. I'll set a breakpoint there. I'll go back to the um, studio and the way this script include is run is through a scheduled script. I'll grab that scheduled script. I will go to the <clears throat> front UI part of ServiceNow. Go to background, paste that in there so it executes right now. Run the script and it will uh, prompt me with a start debugging and it goes right into the initialization. I could even step into the AD util if I wanted to. We have the controls with the step into, step over, pause, run over on the right side here. I'll just step into that just to show you. So here's the AD util. It would step in here and initialize that. I'll step out of, go back to where I was. I'll just click run to hit the next breakpoint. Now I'm in the fetch computers function. I can step line by line with this step over button. As I'm doing that, you'll notice on the right hand side I have my variables and you can see they're getting populated as I'm stepping through the lines. Um, if I go all the way down to a more complicated one, for example line 23, I'll put a breakpoint there. Notice the red line is where the execute, execution script is, is on right now. The blue lines are just the breakpoints. I'll click run. I'll go to this line where it says send the command to the mid server. I'll actually step into that. Now I'm in the um, AD mid server script and I can step again line by line. I can watch my variables over there change as I'm stepping line by line. So for example, I can open up my ECC queue record that I created. This is a glide record. I can see exactly what I populated it with. For example, the agent there and so forth. Um, I can step out of that I'm back here in my main script. I can get the response, step over that. And if I have a response, now it goes down into the load computers, so I'll just hit run because I have a breakpoint down the load computers. Um, I will set a breakpoint down on the load JSON object just so we can see that the JSON object gets loaded. I can actually look at that JSON object. I can see that I have, let's see, 35 records since it's zero index based. I can expand a JSON record and I can look at all the fields that are on that JSON record. I can go ahead and just let this finish and then go back to my window. And then I can see that it shows me all of the breakpoints and resumes that I did. Um, and then down at the very bottom, it will put out its normal stuff saying that uh, it is completed.